If you think this is just a jar with grass, plants and some dirt, you are wrong. There is a lot more going on in there than you might think. This is a closed, self-sustaining ecosystem and I haven't opened it for over 600 days. How are the plants and animals in there still alive without food, water or oxygen? A self-sustaining ecosystem works like an ecosystem outside, only on a much smaller scale and much more simple. They are usually built in jars, sealed airtight and are closed forever. I will link a how-to video in the end screen. In this ecosystem, nothing is added from the outside, so no water, food or oxygen. However, I'm lying a bit here. You add one thing, sunlight. In the dark, these things will be dead within days. The plants need sunlight to perform photosynthesis, to grow and produce oxygen and food for the animals. In turn, the animals will produce carbon dioxide for the plants to use in photosynthesis. A good deal in my opinion. The herbivores will eat the plants. This is footage from one of my other terrariums, because it was easier to film in there. But the same thing is going on in the jar. Of course, if you let the herbivores just eat and eat, this will happen. Too much herbivores and all the plants will be eaten. So what do we need to solve this problem? A predator. A predator will keep the herbivore population in check. A centipede will eat some of the isopods and millipedes and keep their number limited. This also happens in the wild of course, but with much more animals than just centipedes, millipedes and isopods. This all happens in a cycle, and don't worry, it is easy and I will keep it short. When there is a lot of prey, like where the arrow is pointing, the predators, the centipedes in this case, have a lot of food and they will grow in number. But because the centipedes are with too many now, they don't have enough food and most of them will die. Of course this is good for our millipedes and isopods, they can grow in number again and the cycle starts again. Now we just need something to eat the leftovers. Springtails will degrade the leftovers to nutrients that the plants can use again. In a perfect world everything would be in balance because of these dynamics. But of course this is not the case and an ecosystem is forever changing. One day your ecosystem can be overgrown with grass and the next month all the grass can be gone and another plant might have taken over. The same thing happens with the animals. For example, this plant here only started growing last month, almost 600 days after I sealed the ecosystem. And that is what makes these things interesting and cool to make, to see the changes happen over time. If you want to make one yourself, here is an easy guide on how I made this one. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video 